Today's video is sponsored by MPB, the world's largest online platform for used camera gear. The past month, the Fuji X-Pro3 has come almost everywhere with me. Travel trips while working on photography projects, random car drives, evening strolls, and I've taken a few images I quite like, also a lot of ones that I don't, but more importantly, it's just been a lot of fun to use. And what quickly became apparent is that this is a camera that's about more than just technical capabilities, it's about the experience as well. So this is a camera that has interested me ever since it was released. And if you watch uh, this channel this year, you'll know MPB has come on board as a sponsor. And because of that, I've had the opportunity to borrow some gear from time to time. I was browsing their catalog recently, saw the X-Pro and decided it'd be a good opportunity to try this out. And you know, most of my work is done on medium format film and digital. A crop sensor digital body is not at the top of my list of needs or wants. Uh, but shooting with the X-Pro over the past month changed my mind on that. So in this video today, I'm gonna to talk about why I've been so happy with this camera and some of the things that really kind of sold me on it. And I hope this helps you if you're interested in the X-Pro3 or are just curious about it in general. So for me, a big part of what I love about film is just the unique shooting experience that it brings. And oftentimes I feel like that is kind of the main thing that's lacking with digital. In the past, I owned a Fuji X100, which was a camera that I absolutely loved, just because I felt like it brought a little bit of that back to the digital world, just the style and what it was like to work with. Uh, but I ended up selling it just because I was using it as a bit of a, a pocket cam while I was doing my American West work. And then when I finished that work, it was just uh, sitting, but I have missed it ever since. And very quickly after working with the X-Pro, it kind of reminded me about, you know, what I loved about that camera so much, but I feel like it also builds on everything that I liked and takes it to a bit of a different level. So this camera's been out for quite a while now. I'm sure most of you are familiar with it. I'm not gonna bother reading the in-depth specs or anything like that. But it is worth mentioning that uh, in many ways, it's similar to the Fuji X-T4, which is a camera I own. It's what I'm shooting this video with right now. So uh, 26 megapixel crop sensor, same as the X-T4, same processor, same lens mount, same autofocus, uh, gonna be almost identical when it comes to image quality. Yet, I almost never ever shoot stills with my X-T4. I purely use it for video. I'm never that inspired to take it out to go shoot stills with it. And the difference is because of one thing that I think Fujifilm does better than most manufacturers, and that is that they add these like features and tools that inspire creativity. So from a look standpoint, this is a really nice looking camera, you know, classic rangefinder styling and still quite compact, obviously not as small as the X100, but that's all gonna also depend on which lens you choose to use. So I shot all of this with the 23 mil F2, which is a pretty compact lens still, but obviously it's not a pancake look on the X100F. But for me, you know, used to shooting with medium format gear, this is still a pretty compact setup, so I've been really happy with it. But there's three things in particular that really kind of sell me on this and bring some of that film camera experience to this digital body. So first up, and this is a quick one, but it's the thing that I loved the most about the X100, and it's something that the X-Pro has as well, and that is just the viewfinder system. So being able to switch between electronic or optical, and it's really the optical that I love the most. Obviously, you know, an EVF has a lot of like practical advantages to it, and I still end up using it sometimes, but being able to shoot with the optical viewfinder with the frame lines, looking through this, especially with a few of these other features we're gonna talk about, definitely brings uh, a unique experience that I have missed after working with mirrorless cameras for a couple of years now. And if you aren't that familiar with this system on the Fujis, the optical still has all sorts of information displayed, uh, exposure, white balance, camera settings, you can even do an electronic level or punch in for critical focus. And then there's just a switch on the front of the camera which you flick and it cycles to the electronic if you wanna change it. So really simple and nice to use. So second are just Fuji's built-in film simulations. I've spoke about these a lot in the past, how much I enjoy using them for my raw files that I shoot as like a good base starting point. Uh, but even more than that, there's a few of them that I enjoy so much that I'm comfortable committing to uh, in camera, say shooting JPEG and baking them in. So uh, specifically Acros, I feel like they've done a great job with that for black and white. 
And I find that I can use it with no other tweaks whatsoever uh, in camera, maybe other than some grain, and I'm really happy with the look coming out of this. So, you know, shooting the X-Pro in JPEG, not that I did it all the time, but doing that with a film simulation baked in definitely brings back some of that like film camera experience, say if you're loading up a, a roll of black and white and committing to one look as you go and shoot. Okay, and lastly, this is a big one, uh, is just the flip away rear screen and this little info panel. And these are additions that I kind of thought were maybe a little bit gimmicky when this camera was released, but they surprised me how much uh, they added to the experience. So uh, first up is this little info panel. Uh, this is supposed to kind of replicate where you would put the tab from your film box to kind of mark which film you have loaded. What I love about this is it's purely a novelty. I mean, it shows the ISO and it shows the white balance you have selected, but you could do without it. It's really not a practical addition, but I love the fact that a company was willing to add something like this to a camera just for fun. Something that adds to like the style and the experience. So I absolutely love that. It is fun to kind of cycle through and see which film simulation you have selected. But then this flip away rear screen. So. I didn't know much about the operation of the X-Pro3. I assumed when I got my hands on this that you could flip it down and then also push it back up so it was always kind of pointed out. But the only thing it does is it just flips down. And obviously it's fine for checking images, but it's kind of a little awkward, which is perfect because it encourages you to keep it flipped up and not really use it either. You know, I found myself uh, every now and then going to check images, but for the most part, obviously you're not gonna leave it down as you're shooting. And then I couldn't almost be bothered, you know, to go and flip this down after every shot to go and check. So uh, just the design of it encouraged me to kind of keep it flipped up. And you can go for these periods of time where you really aren't reviewing your images, which obviously uh, really helps bring back some of that experience that comes with shooting with film. Well, obviously things like the OVF and the film sims aren't unique to the X-Pro3, but you combine them with that flip away screen with the little rear film tab info panel, as well as the looks and the styling, and everything kind of adds up to create this camera that I feel like is pretty unique in the digital photography world. So as I mentioned at the start, I've only had this camera for about a month. Uh, I do wanna say thanks to MPB for letting me borrow it. If you aren't familiar with MPB, they're the world's largest online platform for used camera gear. Uh, what I've always loved about them is uh, their pricing is great, but they also have uh, a ton of inventory. So usually whatever you're looking for, they're gonna have stock. They're gonna have you know multiple options to choose from when it comes to condition and also with that different prices as well. So they had a lot of variety for the X-Pro. When I went to get my GFX 100S, they also had stock, which was surprising. So check them out. Uh, they also buy used gear as well. So if you're looking to offload some older gear, you can give it a second home, uh, which is great as well. But funny enough, after using this for the past month, I actually approached MPB and ended up uh, purchasing it because I enjoyed it that much. And it honestly just brought back this shooting experience and encouraged me to like take this camera with me to places where maybe I normally wouldn't to make images that I normally wouldn't make either and just to kind of like experiment and have fun and play around and be curious which is a huge part of what photography should be about. So the X-Pro3 really kind of represents what I love about Fuji as a company. I've said this in the past with my other reviews, but I love the fact that they're willing to focus so heavily on the experience that these tools provide. X-Pro3 in particular, you know, a camera that spec-wise is almost identical to another one in their lineup, yet the differences all come in the form of the look and the feel and the usability of it. So, you know, this camera isn't gonna be for everyone. It may or may not be for you, but I think if you're looking for like a take anywhere, camera that's just a lot of fun to use and kind of inspires you to create, this has got to be one of the best options out there.